Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and I love it when people take memes too seriously. I mean, without a doubt, as, as somebody who's, uh, who's 25 years old, I fall into the millennial class of, of human beings. Now, for those of you who don't know today's video, the best meme or insult that apparently has dawned onto the internet, one that absolutely aggravates people for no reason, is OK Boomer. Now, if you haven't been following, Boomers are basically those people born in between 46 and 64, I believe. They came back from the war thinking, you know what, we can, we, all, all, we, all we should worry about is multiplying like rabbits. And now we have a bunch of people who've got the old. Now, I, I really don't care too much about it, but until I looked into the last couple articles that I've, I've, I've read, like I've looked at the headlines, I've read through some of them, and I can honestly not stop cringing at the amount of stupid shit that I've read. So for, for, uh, for instance, one of the things that, uh, that I found over here was this, uh, okay, boomer, okay, millennial, we need to talk. And then uh, why it's time to ditch the okay, boomer meme. <laughs> You've got other stupid shit. Like, uh, guys, stop ripping on boomers, okay? You're creating a generational divide. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens when you take memes way too fucking seriously. People think that, like, apparently it's, it's, it's suddenly some weird blanket statement. Guys, we only use it because it aggravates people. That's about it, okay? That's really it. But so I was looking into the whole OK Boomer nonsense and there are some good quality fucking memes are over here. One comes from the Reddit board Boomer Humor, which uh, I'm glad that they actually use the Canadian spelling of humor because it makes me feel really good about my country. But anyways, this is the OK Boomer. It shows some dude's uh, pickup truck with, hey left wing, pull the dick out your ass and put it in my fucking mouth. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, th I, think you, I think you mistook this whole statement. See, they're, they're taking it politically, all right? Even the memes, as funny as they are, always lead into some bullshit politics or age ages type nonsense. I, I personally like the uh, Nokia keypad meme where they uh, do 3377777 for all you millennials out there. This is how we used to text on the, on the devices of old, of yesterdays, where uh, we had to actually like, spam keys to write out stuff. I'm just gonna be honest with you, that is Epstein didn't kill himself. Uh, yeah, he didn't, all right? And if you fall for that, congratulations. You're giving in to the conspiracy. And I really actually mean that. It's uh, it's weird. That, that's a whole separate video. This is a toilet from 1989. Just a simple, wholesome toilet. And this is a 2019 toilet with like every fucking smart bell and whistle and camera attached to it. That, that I, uh, that, that, that actually is kind of true, to be honest. I mean, maybe not the camera, because uh, that's a... Uh, if somebody had a camera in my bathroom or, or like public washroom, I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd question things, but uh, it's, 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 it's a fairly accurate representation of the shitting industry these days. It's always great having SpongeBob show up. Dude, this show is ahead of its time. Boomer, stop saying, okay, Boomer, it is very offensive. And you got millennials and like fucking Gen Zs who are like, wanna see me do it again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, boomers. I love how boomers always send this meme where it's like 1944, 18 year olds storm the beach in Normandy and almost certain death. 2018, 18 year olds need a safe space. Yeah, it's not like wars don't happen in 2019, 2018, right? It's not like there aren't 18 year olds in the active military. Hey, I don't know about you boomers, but we ain't storming beaches. We firing missiles from above, bro. We advanced, all right, get out of here. Technology took over, dude. I mean, what? That's like, that's literally the definition of what an old person sends you to counteract this. Like, I can send you a billion things to counter it, but you shouldn't take it seriously. Okay, boomer memes are kind of like the yo mama of memes, right? Like, you know, when you give somebody a yo mama joke, you're never supposed to like look into it and like actually figure out the fucking logistics of a mom joke. You know, it's like if I tell you, ha, your mom's so skinny when she turns around, she goes invisible. To, to a millennial, he'd be like, ha, 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 he called my mom a fucking skinny woman. Ha. But then to a boomer, they come across and they're like, well, you fuck you and your mom. And then they'll immediately like run off, cry a little bit, and then think about, wait, could a human being actually become invisible in one fucking dimension? No, you're not supposed to think about it. Okay, you're not supposed to look into it. It's a meme, all right? People aren't saying this to be offensive. But then there are some people that have a total right to be offensive about it. You know, it takes me back to the day when my granddad always used to tell me, back in uh, back when we were young, the world was a lot better, Muda. Uh, uh, you know, stuff co only cost a dollar. Yeah, yeah, granddad, I'm sure everything cost a dollar because a dollar was worth more during your time. 
All right, Jesus, do I have to teach you how basic economics work? <laughs> like, what happened? And then you always get told that you're always a lazy piece of shit nowadays if you're young. Hey, let me tell you this much right now, okay? You got me on the lazy part. You might even have me on the piece of shit part. But to combine those words and imply that I don't work hard for the fucking world that I have around me is kind of, is kind of rude, my friend. I mean, you look at the world back in that, and I'll be real, people had it a lot easier to begin with, you know? Everything was always chiller. You didn't need to fucking have 10 years experience to get an entry-level job in McDonald's. And a house didn't cost $10 million to fucking buy. Yes, you know, ladies and gentlemen, boomers, I think you have to admit it, life was a little bit easier back then. You know, you only paid like 20 bucks for your house. Uh, there were only like four different job classes. Nowadays, the MMO of life is greatly enhanced. We've probably got the worst expansion packs. You were playing life when it was Wrath of the Lich King. I'm playing it when fucking Mists of Pandaria is like half released. It's not an easy situation, boys and girls. It's not the best for everyone. <laughs> but I don't think people like to really admit it. You know, it's one of those things things where I read about this general divide, generational divide and I kind of like cringe hearing it because again it's people taking a meme way too fucking seriously. Like that's all it comes down to. If you call me a boomer you are committing- <laughs> you know, If I saw this at my local chapters I would buy the hardcover in a fucking instant. Down here you see Ernie prepares to commit a hate crime. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> boomer. Oh god, dude. Good old good old fashioned fucking Muppet memes. I love him. Combining both of them together. So it's so topical and like it works just fine. They always say okay, boomer. They never ask you, are you okay, boomer? Well, well, I guess maybe I should ask. Maybe I should maybe I should be like maybe I should be empath empathetic towards towards the boomer of this class. But then again, looking at this, I just can't stop but think that Left 4 Dead 2 is a game I haven't played in a while, so I don't know, we might jump back into it. This is this is the definition of a good, like, boomer level meme. Like, we're talking boomer class 7. So if you look at it, okay boomer, I committed several war crimes in Ethiopia from 2005-2007. Not only is it absolutely not fucking hilarious, but the fact that they use Monsters Inc., they use the original meme format from, like, the prehistoric times, and then they had to toss in, like, a war crime into it. Like, it, it's one of those memes that's not funny, but it's also funny because it literally, this is literally how the community on their target. If you go to like Facebook, like Facebook in general, it's like boomer hive, it's like boomer hellhole. Like if you still use Facebook, you're, you're literally old. You're, you're, you're at, you're at the cusp, you're at the very end. Facebook is one of those places where if you just like browse your feed and God forbid you have family on your fucking Facebook feed. I mean, God forbid. Then you'll see a bunch of these memes where they just shit on you all the time. And it's partially one of the few reasons why I haven't used Facebook. I mean, partially because I'm a busy person and I have shit to do, so I don't use Facebook. But uh, that's also one other reason why I haven't used Facebook. If I hear one more old person telling me how I'm a how I'm an entitled millennial, I'm fucking I, I'm I'm just straight deleting my Facebook account. It's over. End game, brother. I'm glad that no matter what, I did end up getting this advertised to me. The Epstein didn't kill himself mug, which is true by the way. He didn't, and if you genuinely believe that, I don't know what to tell you. But I'm glad to drink my Epstein Didn't Kill Himself mug as I'm having my Oreos. That's the best. And reading my fashion magazines. I mean, God, what a combination. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, without keeping this video on too long, I just wanted to get, stress out my love for the whole boomer generation. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't like to make these uh, videos if they, if they ever incite some form of a generational divide, however stupid that fucking sounds. But ladies and gentlemen, the world the world does have its fair share of negative problems. And to be fair with you, the world is a lot tougher than it was back in the days. Look, boomers, people got to work like four jobs to pay off a fucking like student loan nowadays. So let, let's let's not let's not push that angle too much. But you know what? The further I go into the world, the more I love it because you know at the end of the day. All you need in life is good people, good times, and, and some good booze. That's about it. And it, you know what? When it comes to making memes like this, the single last bastion of putting a smile on our face, boomers, you guys need to relax. The OK Boomer meme is not going to take down your... Homeowners, you need to calm down there. Nobody's shitting on you. We're just having one little fun time. And if you're going to post stuff that makes you look like you're from like 300 years ago, yes, we will use OK Boomer. I mean, come on now. But look, it's just a meme. Don't fucking take it too seriously. I mean, god damn. Think of that yo mama analogy I gave in the beginning and take it to heart. I mean, really, that at the core is what it comes down to. It's a fucking joke. If I keep reading another article about how this is some profound piece of, of human-like uh, human -like divide, 
I'm gonna kind of lose it. But that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it. I am out.